much about it, but you really should. It's found in all of these delicious foods. But amazingly, most of you aren't getting enough of this important mineral. Today, I'm going to reveal the subtle signs that you're not getting enough potassium in your body. That affects the most vital organs across the board. We're going to start off with Melissa, who's holding a brain. How welcome, Melissa. Thank you. And you're holding a brain because the first sign you're not getting enough potassium is brain fog. Does that ever afflict you? All the time. What does it do to you? I would literally just start talking to someone, and then in the middle of my sentence, just forget what I'm saying. It drops off. All the time. Which is not a rare phenomenon. Young, old, we all experience it. So here's why it's important. Imagine this wind-up toy over here is your brain. So you have enough potassium in there. It goes banging along and doing... But as you lose the potassium, it hovers perilously close to the edge here. Oh! And you fall into the oblivion of forgetfulness of confusion, of losing a train of thought, as you mentioned, and you can't grab it again. Right. Giving your brain potassium allows the cells in the brain to function the way they're supposed to. Many of these symptoms are related to stress, but actually it's caused by the potassium. So instead of beating yourself up about it, give yourself the potassium and wind yourself back up again, and you'll be back in business. Right. It, it is actually the best solution for a lot of folks who have that problem. Huh. Thank, Thank you, you, Melissa. Next up is Colleen, and you got a heart. Yes. And you have a heart because the second sign of potassium deficiency is actually heart palpitations. Right. That's when your heart starts pounding and it skips a couple beats. Right. Does that ever happen to you? It does happen, yeah. Well, it happens for a lot of different reasons, but one of the common problems, and we see this in the hospital a lot as well, uh, is potassium problems. So go ahead and put that down. Okay. We're going to do a little demonstration about why this is the case. You like the game Simon Says? Of course. Audience, you ready to play with us? <laughs> We're going to play Simon Says. We all do this together. Remember, only when Simon says something do you do it. All right. Simon Says, clap your hands three times. One, two, three. All right. Let's say Simon Says, clap your hands three times again. <laughs> Simon Says again, clap your hands two times. <laughs> oh, I heard a couple threes, <laughs> although most of you did well. Well, every once in a while, we get thrown off a little bit. Right. And the heart's the same way. That heart, just while I've been talking, has been pumping for most of you at least once a second. So if every once in a while it misses a beat, you'll sense it. And unfortunately, that's occurring pro prominently because we're not having enough potassium in our life. Okay. You have a question? Um, yeah, what kind of foods can I eat to increase my potassium? That's why we're here today. Okay. You hold for one second, we're going to okay. get to all that because that's important. All right, thank most, you. Most of us only get about half of the potassium we need. Okay. So it's a big gap and there are places we can make it up. Okay. Finally, Miranda has a muscle. It's the third sign you're not getting enough potassium, which is muscle spasms. Yes. Does that affect you ever? All the time. After working out, I get leg cramps. Charlie Horse says when I wake up, it's... it's she, she mentions it's after me. she works out. That's called showing off. <laughs> she could have just mentioned the sleep part. All right, put that down for a second. Okay. Let me show you what happens. So okay. let's say this is one of your muscle fibers. Okay. You know, this muscle is made up of literally you know, hundreds of thousands of little, little fibers like this. Right. So if that fiber is functioning normally when you're working out, show off, back and forth, and back and forth and doing all that great stuff. Mm -hmm. When you don't have enough potassium, the, doesn't, the, without the, the right potassium amounts, the mo ability of fluids to move in and out of the cells go away. This gets big and it gets stuck mm -hmm. and it won't move anymore and it's frozen. And that causes right. that spasming sense that you have it because in fact, that's what's happening. Nothing's right. moving. So you have to have the potassium in order to let the cells of the muscle work, the heart work, and even the brain work. The question is, how much do you need? Now, since you asked, everyone come along with me. Let's talk about that. The amount that we need is about 4,700 milligrams a day. Don't bother memorizing that. All you have to know is that most of us are getting about half that amount, which is what concerns me. That's causing the muscle spasms and the brain fog and the palpitations. But you can get your daily dose by adding the right foods into your diet. And I'm going to go through a bunch specifically. These are foods you can find everywhere, but you've got to get these into your diet and squeeze them in as many ways as you can. Bananas I love, a lot of the orange foods, sweet potatoes. Uh, I love beets, but the beet greens have a ton uh, potassium in them. Don't throw them away. You can make smoothies out of them. You can, you know, include them in a lot of different dishes. Uh, be, a lot of these vegetables have them as well. Dried fruits have them. Uh, I have to love the dried dates, which are good for something else as well. You ever get constipated? Yes. <laughs> so at least she yes. works out, but, right, but these are good for that as well. But again, dried fr uh, fruits have a lot of potassium. Beans have great potassium. Fish, which is sort of a surprising source because most of us never thought of that. And yogurt has potassium in it. So there's many different sources of it. All you got to do is push yourself to, to double down on this because you literally have to double the amount. A multivitamin, who takes multivitamins? Oh. All right, well, one out of three is not bad. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> multivitamins, they don't always have it, but just check on the label to make sure they have potassium. Yeah. And at least that's one way of getting a little bit more than what you need. If you do it just that smart way, you'll be able to get the potassium you need in your body and obviate some of these concerns. Any questions? 
No. All right. So you make it easy for you. I'm going to give you a, a, a easy uh, essential mineral list on potassium and a grocery list of how to go shopping for it on DrOz.com. We'll be right back. Yeah.